Okay, so let's try executing a Python script on a remote Linux host this time with Zabbix Agent. I'm going to use my host B here. So I want to make sure I've got Python on host B. Okay, so I've SSH'd onto my host B. I'm just going to check if I've got Python. So Python hyphen capital V. And it says command not found. Now, currently at the time of creating this video, there is a long transition of upgrading everyone from Python 2 to Python 3. So we we'll probably have Python 3. Okay, and I have Python 3.6.8. So that means I'm going to be using Python 3 to run the Python script in this video. If you've got Python, depending on the operating system and which version it is, you'll be executing Python using the word Python like that or Python 3. So just do that quick check before you continue. Anyway, now to create a Python script, I'm going to create a new folder if it doesn't already exist, home Zabbix. So I'm just going to check if I've got the home Zabbix folder first before trying to create it. So CD home Zabbix and it looks like I do. If you didn't have that folder already, you can create it using that command. Okay, so I'm in the folder home Zabbix. I'm going to see what's in there. LS, LH. Okay, I've got a secret PSK because I've set up PSK on this server. Excellent. Okay, now to create a Python file, nano genrand.py. That's the name of the file that it's going to be. In that, I'm going to just import random and print random. That's going to print out a random integer between 0 and 36, including 36. Okay, let's test that. So control X to save, yes, enter. Now Python 3 genrand.py and it works. It prints out a random number and every time I run that it will print out another random number. There we go. We can now set that up in Zabbix. So go into Zabbix and for my host B configuration hosts host B items create an item. I'm just going to call it generate random number. Zabbix agent key system.run again. There it is. Run specific command on the host. For the command Python 3. If you were using Python, you would just type Python anyway. Space home slash Zabbix slash genrand.py. My mode is the same as default. I'm just going to wait. Okay, let's test that out. Test. Get value and test. Okay, unsupported item key. Okay, so we need to modify our allow key and deny key settings on my host. Zabbix agent conf. Okay, so scroll down until we find the allow key and deny key options. There we go, there's allow key and there's deny key. So for allow key, I'm going to write allow key equals and be very explicit, this key exactly. Okay, okay, let's check deny key. I'm not denying anything else. Okay, excellent. Control X, save, yes, and restart. Okay, and let's check its status. Okay, looks good. Let's test that again. Okay, get value and test. Okay, and it says a one. Let's try that again. Eight, 13. So that looks like it's working. Excellent. So cancel that. I'll add that. Now, let's go to monitoring latest data. Filter by my host B. Generate random number. Let's look at history. And let's wait for some data. Okay, I have a zero and every minute there'll be a new number. Okay, I'm just going to make that a unsigned integer now because it's a number. Hosts, host B items. Generate random number. The type is now a numeric unsigned. I'll update that. I will also execute it now so that I don't have to wait very long. Okay, ticked execute now. Okay, request sent successfully. This works best for passive items, which that item is. Monitoring, latest data, OSB, random number, graph. Okay, so I've got number five now. Anyway, after some time, that will just be a random looking line with numbers between zero and including 36. That is very quickly calling a Python script on a remote host using Zabbix agent. Excellent.